I think business schools in South Africa and in Africa as a whole have got a huge advantage over the rest of the world. You'll find out most business schools in Europe and in America will have legacies of centuries, 100 years old, 200 years old, so they are stuck in, in, in legacy and trying to maintain that legacy. But Africa, being a very young continent, especially when it comes to business schools, it means we've got so much room and leeway to sort of begin to define what we want as a continent and what we want as a people. Technology is really proving to be a great enabler, a great tool, uh, especially when it comes to education. I think you recall a few years ago, we had a serious challenge of um, fees must fall. And that really spoke a lot to a dire need for access when it comes to education. And what technology is doing is actually now beginning to level the field and begin to help people who beforehand could not access quality education, but they're beginning to do it through blended learning, through mobile learning. I'll speak for example here at the business school. We have sort of three modes of delivery for MBA. There's the full time, there's the modular, and there's the blended learning. And the blended really speaks to an audience saying, you know what, I work, I, I stay away from Cape Town, but I want to do the USB MBA, what can I do? And we're saying, from wherever you are, we could live stream and give you the content and give you the experience that any other USB student gets. Technology has really opened up and leveled the playing field in terms of getting access to education and also even in enhancing the quality of education that we, that we get.